Now to the Philippines and the debate over the constitutionality of a historic reproductive health bill. Among its provisions, the new law would provide free contraception to poor women and mandate sex education in schools. But a religious couple filed a lawsuit with the Supreme Court, which has suspended the law's implementation. This law has reopened a split in the largely Catholic country. Our contributor Noel Terrazona has more. The Philippine Senate endorsed the reproductive health bill to the president to enact it into law. The upper house says the Supreme Court order to state the law is to give judges enough time to decide on the issue. But it has only sparked new debates not only between the church and the state, but among net users in the Philippines. This net user wrote in somewhat fractured English, why the Supreme Court stops the implementation of this law is because our country as a Catholic wants to impress the new folk. For what? One post on Raptor.com said, They are just delaying the inevitable. There will be an RH law. Every country needs it. Every country deserves it. But ProLife.org, a popular religious site, featured much praise to the court for saying yes to the will of God. One post, Our Lord hears our prayers. We'll continue praying. We'll prevail. This Catholic conservative user thinks the RH law is just the beginning. He wrote, the RH law will pave way to divorce and same-sex marriage in our country. There's a midterm election coming up next month. The Catholic Church is appealing to the country's 52 million voters not to vote for senators who supported the RH law. Catholic laymen hung banners throughout the country, calling the senators the team of them. In Mindanao, I'm Noel Tarazona for LinkedIn. Airwaves, a global channel of uncompromising stories. World news, documentaries, entertainment, and culture. Link TV, connecting you to the world. For more information, visit linktv.org.